So what is the difference between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC? What's up? This is John from John Branch for Photography, and we're here today to answer the question, what really is the difference between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC? As a starting photographer, you may be looking to get Lightroom and not really sure which one you should get. So let's take a quick look at what really makes them so different. Starting out with the biggest difference, which is the interface. So Lightroom Classic is the Lightroom that's been around all these years. It's what everyone has been using. It's what everyone is used to. If you ask a professional or someone who's been using Lightroom for a while, they probably would just tell you to get Lightroom Classic. Lightroom Classic has all your options. It has the two tabs on the side. It's very familiar. It's a lot going on there. Lightroom CC is a mobile ready version of Lightroom, which is kind of watered down from what Classic is. You can see here, even on the computer, it looks very much like a mobile app, but they did that so you can also use it on your iPhone and your iPad. The Lightroom CC interface is a little bit easier to get used to, especially if you're new, but you're not gonna have as much functionality in the program. Next up is importing. Importing is so different between the two programs. So Lightroom CC basically only lets you import your photos. It's very straightforward. You can import the RAWs, you can import your JPEGs, you can edit them, that's about it. Keep in mind if you're doing this on something mobile like an iPad, it's kind of annoying because unless you have an external hard drive, like the My Passport Wireless Pro that I talk about in this video, linked above and in the description, you have to basically import into photos and then from photos import it into Lightroom and it's just like a whole thing. Whereas Lightroom Classic, you have a lot of options for your imports. You can import it and import to an additional external hard drive. You can put your preset on your import while it comes in, which saves you a bunch of time. Hot tip, if you don't do that already, do it because it saves so much time. And there's just so much more you can do with your importing in Lightroom Classic. Another big difference is the exporting. So exporting in Lightroom CC is extremely bare bones. Basically, you can export it in large file and a smaller file, and that's about it. You can't choose what kind of file type it is. You can't export raw. You can't choose the PPI for printing or anything. It's just, it's just exporting. Whereas Lightroom Classic, you have options to change your size. You can export multiple options. You can export in different file types, so PNG, JPEG, you can change the PPI so you can have it print ready. You can even have it open in another program after it exports. So it's, it's night and day between the two as far as exporting. And last but not least is the pricing. So the pricing is probably the most confusing part and it really depends on what type of photography you are and what you're looking for. So basically your three options are you can get Lightroom CC alone. And with Lightroom CC alone, you're basically getting one terabyte of cloud storage and Lightroom CC. So this is good for anyone on the move, anyone who just needs to edit like a couple fashion shoots, a couple portrait shoots, some Instagram stuff, something very just bare bones and not too much. Exporting JPEGs are gonna be fine and you wanna be mobile, you wanna use an iPad or something all the time. The next option is the photographer's package which comes with Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. The difference in this package is you're not getting the one terabyte of cloud storage. So I use this package because obviously as a wedding photographer, I need all the options that Lightroom Classic is gonna give me. But as you've seen in some of my videos, and yet again linked above, I edit on my iPad when I'm not by my main rig behind me here. And that versatility really helps out being able to have it loaded in the cloud, use Lightroom CC on my iPad, but then also use Lightroom Classic whenever I'm here at home and I need to export ready for print photos for my couples. The last option I think is a little overkill. I don't know why anyone would do it, but it's basically 20 bucks a month and you get Lightroom CC, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, and the one terabyte of cloud storage. That's just if you have the money for it, may as well get it. But I don't know who would really need the whole thing. So that was just a quick look at the differences between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. Let me know which one you use and let me know why you use it and what kind of setup you have. Also, if you're looking to get Lightroom, there's a link in the description as well. You can grab it from there. Anyways, thanks again for hanging out. I hope I answered your question. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more information on photography, creative entrepreneurship, and anything you want to talk about, tech-related, photography-related, creative-related. And I'll catch y'all next time. All right, peace.